morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Prestige webinar series. My name is Melissa Nalfo. I am the Supervisor of Client Success and Operations here at Prestige, and as usual, your host. Um, we are super happy for everybody to come back today to discuss, um, you know, the special enrollment that we have prepared for you and your employees. Okay, so as you can see in here, today's agenda, we're going to be going over all of the available benefits for you and your employees to enroll in and take advantage of at any time. There's a wide array of offerings that we're going to cover today and the details of those plans, why you might want to go ahead and enroll in them, and the benefits of having that enrollment in your pocket. Now, as always, all participants are muted, but we do encourage you to utilize the Q&A feature in the chat here. If we have time, we can address any questions, and then we'll always make sure to give you any contact information that you might need to address any personal questions after the fact. And as always, this webinar will be posted on our website under prestigepeo.com forward slash webinars, so please go ahead and check that out to see all of our historical webinars and this one moving forward as well. Now today I am joined by two individuals. We have John A. Manning. Um, he is an insurance and financial advisor over at Lee, Nolan, and Carolian LLC. So John comes today to take us through Mass Mutual and those offerings. And then we also are joined again by Kathleen Sullivan, Associate Director of Benefits here at Prestige PEO, who is going to take everybody through the other benefits that are available for all employees. So we are super excited to have their partnership. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and call up John um, to start taking us through life insurance. Thanks so much, Michelle. Good morning, everybody. Again, my name is John Manning, the Vice President here at Mass Mutual Agency on Long Island. Um, I'm gonna go through a, a unique benefit that uh, we have a special offering for, for all employees um, and employers that work through Prestige. Um, as you would imagine, uh, Mass Mutual studies life insurance uh, quite diligently, and our first slide just shows that in U.S. households, 46% uh, of Households in America have no life insurance at all. That's nearly half, uh, somewhat shocking. Um, about one in three only have group life insurance, which works as long as you're working, but group life insurance typically ends when someone retires or leaves one job for another. So they're generally not portable and um, only effective while you're working. Um, hopefully um, you live longer than that, you'll need insurance after that. And again, uh, nearly one in three say they need more insurance, but they're just not proactive enough to go out and get it. I'm gonna speak here for a few minutes. Now this offering that Mass Mutual has, it, it's an offering for all employers and employees. It's a unique opportunity to enhance their personal protection and retirement plan. A whole life insurance policy, policy from Mass Mutual can help protect an individual's wealth, act as a supplemental retirement strategy that is tax efficient, and generate and offer access to another savings vehicle. And the program works like this. The program offers guaranteed issue slash simplified issue individually owned whole life insurance policies to all employees that grow with guarantees and cash value. There is no medical exam. There's no financial underwriting at all. No medical tests. There's um, no check for doctor records and no check for any pre-existing conditions. The first $10,000 of insurance up to 100,000 is guaranteed no matter what issues you may have. So whatever pre-existing condition you may have, it doesn't matter, the first 100,000 is guaranteed. Additional coverage from 101,000 up to 250,000 each year simply requires answering a few simple questions and will have no bearing on the first 100,000. Later in the slide, I'll go through what those questions are. It's all, this offer is also repeated annually, repeatable annually. So every year on that policy anniversary, an individual can re-enroll through the simplified issue for another policy to add to the first. So conceivably, someone could have a million dollars in life insurance cover in place after four years. The policies are cost-effective and all policies are tailor-made to fit any person's budget. Every individual gets to choose exactly how much insurance or how much uh, premium they, they, they can tolerate or how much they need. The application is taken right at work with ease. Like I said, it has guaranteed cash value with guaranteed growth each year. 
It's taken through payroll deductions that will grow in cash. Um, the funds are accessible um, and uh, to the owner, tax-free and penalty-free if they need be, can be used for any occasion or saved to supplement retirement. So it works like this. If somebody were to sign up for a $100,000 life insurance policy and the premium contribution was $20,000, uh, sorry, $20 a week, sorry, $20 for 100,000, simply have $20 taken out of their paycheck every week and the part of that money would go into the cash value inside the policy. So you've got this cash value savings component and then you have the $100,000 debt benefit. And as time goes by and every week as you continue to contribute that $20 into your life insurance policy, and that cash value starts to accumulate dollars and goes higher, it's going to force the death benefit that started at 100,000 to go higher. So conceivably after a number of years, if you have 10,000 or $15,000 saved in your cash value, it means that the original death benefit that was 100,000 would now be worth more than that, maybe 110, 115,000, whatever, it depends on your age and when you started. And what I'll tell you is the first button on this um, slide, you can see all the way to the left, it says guaranteed level premium, okay? So that means if that individual that started at say 30 years old with a $20 weekly contribution, that will never go higher, it's guaranteed. Love saying that. So when that five years later, it's still gonna be $20 per paycheck. 10 years later, $20 per paycheck. When the person is 55 or getting ready to retire, still guaranteed level premium can never go higher. The next button shows that there's a guaranteed increases in cash value. So like I said, part of that money and then to at one point a greater extent of your money is going to go right into your cash value. And every year that cash value is guaranteed to be higher than it was the year before. It just depends on how much. All right. That death benefit is guaranteed from day one. So that same individual who signed up for that $20 a week life insurance policy, if he... Um, we're, we're paying for it for six months and tragically passed away, the entire death benefit is guaranteed from day one, that his family, his spouse, whoever would get the entire $100,000 death benefit. Even if he had only paid one week, one $20 contribution, horrifically if he passed, his, his, uh, the entire death benefit is guaranteed. The application is actually quite simple. I'll go through that a little bit later in the, in the slide. It's about three pages. It's an electronic application that you can access through an email. Um, you type in your date of birth and your social security number or some sort of password that will send you, and you'll see that your information will be logged in. You simply go in, you say, hey, look, I'm thinking about doing $20 a week, or I'm thinking about doing a $100,000 policy or however, um, and it's very simple. Um, all these policies are dividend eligible. What do I mean by that? So Mass Mutual is a, a mutual company. Um, we don't have, we're not listed on any exchange um, like some other financial companies. We have no stockholders. We only have our policyholders. So at the end of the year, anybody who has a uh, participating whole life insurance policy with Mass Mutual will get paid dividends as if they were owners of the company. Mass Mutual is mutually owned by the policyholders, and that's what a mutual company is. So your policies will get dividends paid into them from the mutual company at the end of the year. And what's special about today's um, you know, special enrollment is that we've added this chronic care benefit now. It acts somewhat like a, a, a long-term care access rider, but it's a chronic care endorsement onto your policy. And I'm gonna get into th that, um, that button in a couple of slides. I'm gonna ex explain that a little bit more. And one of the great features, again, of the Mass Mutual offering is that these policies are permanent. Um, I hope my clients live long, long, long lives. And if they live to 105, uh, if they can, th this policy will still be in place. It's permanent for their entire life, for their whole life, and it's portable also. So if somebody does decide to retire or if somebody does decide to move down south or if someone decides to take a different job, they can port this policy with absolutely no penalty, no increase in premium, no reduction in death benefit, um, and no hassle whatsoever. It would simply go from the payroll deduction through Prestige to a electronic funds transfer, you know, from their own bank, um, and on they go. It's they are individually owned. So um, guaranteed level premium, guaranteed increase in cash value, guaranteed death benefit. Simple application, dividend eligible. They come with a chronic care endorsement, and they're permanent and portable for life. 
So the chronic care endorsement is why we've come to you um, in the middle of the year here. Um, this has just been approved by New York State, so we wanted everyone to know that we have this actual um, benefit part of the overall um, um, policy. So um, the chronic care endorsement will help an individual um, you know, pay for whatever bills they may have in the event of a chronic illness. So what is a chronic illness? Chronic illness means that somebody would need continuous care uh, for the remainder of the insured's life, either in a facility or, or at home, even if they're at home. And it means that they're unable to perform uh, without some assistance, two of the activity, uh, daily activities of living, okay? And I'll go through what those are. Or if there's any sort of cognitive impairment requiring you know, supervision. So you would need to be unable to perform two activities of daily, uh, daily living or any, any cognitive uh, impairment. And I'll go through what those things are. Um, first, we'll do the activities of daily living. So activities of daily living, simply said, if any individual is unable to perform any two of these, bathing, continence, getting dressed, feeding themselves, using the bathroom, or being able to move around transferring, someone needs help um, getting up in the morning, getting dressed, or feeding themselves, any of these two things, then they, they would say, this is a chronic illness and their chronic care endorsement will come in. And what does that mean? What do they get? Like, what is the benefit? You know, what is what is the what's the rub? So let's go back to that individual I was talking about before. Um, that guy bought a one hundred thousand dollar policy and he was contributing twenty dollars a week. And so so now we're many years down the line, and this individual has a chronic care uh, illness. And that policy that started at one hundred thousand and with all the cash value growth, let's just say now it's worth one hundred and forty thousand of of insurance. This individual. If he, um, you know, can't perform two of these activities of daily living, can access half of the death benefit, and Mass Mutual will write them a check, lump sum, for in that, this case seventy thousand dollars, and they can take that money and spend it on whatever they need. If they need to pay bills, or if they need to make adjustments to the house, if they need to put in a walkway, if they need to pay down some debt, it doesn't matter what. Even if they if, if, if the decision was to take the individual on a trip, they, they could do whatever they want. If they access half of the death benefit and it would come as a lump sum. And then what would happen? Whatever the death benefit would death benefit would go from 140 down to 70. And then moving forward, that $20 weekly contribution would only be 10 because the benefit has been cut in half because he's already taken half of it. He doesn't have to pay the whole rest of it. The other part of the uh, chronic care endorsement is a cognitive issue. and and we understand that cognitive impairment is a deterioration of loss of intellectual capacity. Um, that's either some sort of Alzheimer's disease or some sort of dementia coming in, resulting in deficiency in memory or, or orientation or being able to identify people. And this is a sad, you know, this is a sad illness. But if this was the case, you know, regardless of the activities of daily living, this is the other other side. If somebody was found to be in the throes of any of this cognitive impairment, Again, Mass Mutual would distribute half of the current death benefit in a lump sum to help that family um, tend to this individual's needs. So again, the chronic care bill benefit is triggered by the loss of two of the six ADLs, activities of daily living, which we talked about, that expected to last 90 days or longer. The benefit is paid in a lump sum, which I told you, which would be half of whatever the current death benefit has grown to. There's no waiting period whatsoever, uh, as long as the physician um, you know, states that the, there's a chronic care issue. Um, the lump sum is paid, no waiting period. There's no condition on how the money is spent. There's no additional premium or out-of-pocket costs whatsoever. Um, and this can help cover expenses associated with this illness. And this is a unique new add-on to what's, a, what, what's already a great product. These whole life policies protect people, whether they live, whether they pass, whether they get disabled, or whether they get sick. So, as I said before, um, all employees and employers through Prestige are, are um, eligible for the benefit, and you can apply for up to $250,000 annually in any $5,000 increment. Um, the minimum amount is $10,000, so it would be from $10,000 in any $5,000 increment up to $250,000.
Also included in this offer is policies for your spouse and for your children, and they work exactly the same way. They are savings vehicles for long-term savings that have death benefit. So sometimes people get a little um, uneasy when I talk about juvenile life insurance policies for their children, but it is a, uh, it's an early financial plan. It's an asset on their balance sheet and it provides them with insurance for their whole life, okay? And that's gonna grow for their whole life also. So when your young children maybe are your own age, their premium might be only two, three, four, maybe $5 a week, if that, um, and it will still remain guaranteed forever. And it's a solid base to their financial plan. Um, in order to get um, the, the limit on the policies for the spouse and the children are only $25,000 uh, policies, not greater or smaller. And in order to get a policy for your spouse or your children, um, you must get at least 25,000 on yourself. Here's a quick look at what these policies cost. So um, this is an example by age for a $50,000 policy. Um, and we'll start with a 25 year old. You can see that the cost per week for a, for a $50,000 policy for a 25 year old is $7.62 per week. And I guess I can't say it enough, but I'm gonna say it one more time. And that's guaranteed level forever. So when that 25 year old is 50 or 60 or 70, it's still gonna be $7.62 per week. And you can see that the guaranteed cash value at age 65 for that 25 year old is a minimum of $19,580.13. Uh, access to that dollar, those dollars along the way is always penalty free and tax free. It's your own money. You can simply access it whenever you want for whatever you want, whether you need it for to pay some bills or to go on vacation or whatever. Um, if someone were to start at age 45, that $50,000 policy would start at $19.04 a week, and it would be level for his entire his or her entire life. And you can see that that 45 year old would have a guaranteed cash value of $14,299. And that cash that guaranteed cash value um, represents um, our lowest dividend possible. And our dividend right now at Mass Mutual is 6%. So once we have a couple of years of paying 6%, that the guaranteed cash value would actually be more than that. Um, and you can see for a 55 year old, if you started at 55, that $50,000 policy would be 3324. Um, and that would be his cash guaranteed cash value um, at age 65. Um, it's all quite linear. So um, I would say roughly if you were 25 or 45, and you're wondering what a $100,000 policy would be, it would be just about double those numbers uh, minus a very small um, volume discount. Um, and, and again, most of us kind of overestimate the cost of life insurance. So this is kind of nice to see $7 or $19 a week uh, for $50,000 mass mutual whole life policy with cash value and a chronic care endorsement. So how do you sign up if you're interested? Um, enrollment's gonna begin uh, about next week, I think June 1st. Um, and in between now and then, you should be getting an email from mass mutual through Prestige. And you're gonna see uh, a little link that you can click and it's gonna say, please type in your uh, date of birth and the last four of your social social security number or whatever the password, it'll tell you what it is on the email. And you'll see the uh, website pop up. It'll, it'll say, oh, here's your name, John Manning. It'll have a lot of your data pre-filled. You confirm everything uh, with your phone number or whatever, you get in the next slide. I wanna, cho I wanna choose the whole life policy uh, application. And then you'll, sit, you'll see it, all right, I wanna see what a $25,000, $50,000 policy, how much does this all cost? This is what works with my budget currently. And then you put in your beneficiaries, maybe your spouse or your kids or your parents or whoever. Um, and then you sign the electronically sign the bottom of it and, and you're off. Um, if you have any questions along the way, you can obviously go on and call these um, educational consultants, but you're gonna have my personal uh, email and my personal Calendly uh, invite sent to you all. And you can reach out to me at any time if you have any questions or concerns about this. And John, how do I do this? What about this? You know, I, you know, I was um, declined for life insurance one, once before. Can I get it? And the answer is going to be yes. And I'll explain all that to you. Um, I'm going to go through some of the questions in a minute about uh, what limits you from the 100,000 guaranteed to the up to 250 each year. So you'll get an email. You apply online. If there's any questions, you reach out to me and I will walk you through it. 
Um, and you'll see right there, I'll stay here for one second. That's a, on the left, that's a picture of the, of the link that you're gonna be sent. And that's where you type in your password. And that other small picture just says Mass Mutual Whole Life and you click there. Um, and it's an electronic signature and it should take all of maybe 10 minutes. But again, it, it can be confusing. So if, if, if you're stuck, don't get discouraged, just reach out and I will walk you through it. So here are the questions. So like I said earlier, it's a 100,000 guaranteed issue up to 250 simplified issue. So you have to, this is all of the underwriting. This is all of the questions that you're gonna have. This is all you're gonna deal with. And as soon as you sub, hit submit on the application, the policy is in force. Even though you haven't paid for it yet, um, the policy is in force. So heaven forbid, if somebody signed up on Monday and God forbid something terrible happened on Tuesday, even without a first initial payment, their, their um, family or beneficiaries would be a sent the benefit. But everyone has to just answer these questions and then um, it'll tell you whether you apply, you get the one up to 100,000 or up to 250. So the first question is within the last 12 months, have you used tobacco or any nicotine products? And this is not a knockout question. It just depends if uh, you get the smoker rate or the non-smoker rate, because those are always a little bit different. The second question is, are you actively at work at your usual and customary location, maintaining maintaining your normal schedule, performing all your duties, et cetera? So look, as long as you're not out on disability, you say, yes, I'm actively at work. If you were out on disability and not working, you'd have to wait till you get back to work to sign up for the insurance policy. And then the third question is, within during the last two years, have you sought treatment for or been treated for, or been diagnosed by a member of the medical profession for having any of these following things? So if you, if, if you had this four years ago, the answer is no. If you had it two and a half years ago, the answer is no. But within the last two years, have you been, sought treatment for, been treated for, been diagnosed by a medical profession, cancer or malignancy of any kind, including carcinoma, excluding non-melanoma skin cancer, heart attack, coronary valve disease, heart failure, alcohol, drug abuse, diabetes for with which the treatment is insulin. So if you're a diabetic, but you're taking metformin or in you're in other things, the answer is no, and you're, you're eligible for the 250. Uh, COPD, emphysema, or other lung diseases, uh, stroke or TIAs, chronic kidney disease or kidney failure, Parkinson's, cirrhosis of liver, hepatitis, or AIDS, HIV. Hopefully you have no experience with any of these in the last two years and you just simply say, no, I'm a non, I don't use tobacco. Yes, I'm actively at work. No, I have not had experience with any of these in the last two years. And boom, you'll see that the application will uh, fill up with offers from 10,000 all the way up to the 250,000 and then you choose. But if you have experience with any of those things, it'll just limit you to the first 100,000 that's guaranteed. Again, if any of this is at all confusing, reach out to me anytime. Um, Prestige will send everybody my email and my Calendly invite. Um, yeah, so um, that's it for me. Um, I'm definitely uh, going to stay on for any questions. I don't know, Melissa, if you want to do it now or wait till um, at the end of the the agenda. But thank you so much, everybody, for your attention. Again, my name is John Manning, a vice president here at Mass Mutual Agency, right on Long Island. Um, and if anybody has any questions, definitely reach out um, through Prestige and get my contact information and I'd be more than willing to, you know, share any more of the details or answer any questions that you have either personally uh, or during the Q&A session uh, on this webinar. But again, thank you for your attention and stay healthy. Hi, John, it's Kathleen. How are you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> thank you so much. Good, good. Thank you so much for the presentation today. We do have a couple of questions in the queue there um, okay. that we might want to answer. They look pretty simple. Okay. Um, cool. yeah. One of them just rolled up, but you want me to read it out to you? Can you see Can, them? Uh, where do I click on Q&A? You know what? Oh, Let me yeah. just read it out because they're, they're uh, easily that simple. Can you scroll down a little so I can see the first one? Okay. So the first one is, is um, do premiums increase after a certain age, say 65 or 70? And I know you covered no. this, but let's just reiterate. Yeah, no, 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 they don't. And they do for a lot of group insurance policies, but these are individually owned by the, part, by the, by the insured. So no, they don't. And one of the things I, I sort of joked about before, I love saying it's guaranteed to remain level for your life. So if you bought this at 40 and you've retired, 
and you were 65 or 70, it's still going to remain the same price as you were as that 40 year old. And, and that's just, that's just great. Yeah. Um, okay. I think you went over this too, but the current rate of return for cash accumulation funds and has it changed over the past three years? Yeah. So mass mutual, the return on cash value base is based on the current dividend of the mutual company. So, uh, every year, um, let's just say at, on the 31st of December, when they turn up the lights, they uh, will subtract all the expenses from the revenues of the general account of the mutual company, um, less, um, you know, mortality expenses, persistency, and other expenses. And then they formulate the dividend every year in um, in the fall for the following year. So in our this low interest rate environment that we've had over the last, say, 10 or 15 years, Dividend rates have come, interest rates have come down, so our our stated dividend has come down. Right now, it's six percent. Um, a few years ago, it was six point one, and that was six point two, and then maybe five years ago, it was up closer to seven. But if interest rates do turn around over the next five or ten years, um, which it looks like they may, um, then you know Mass Mutual will follow suit, and so our six percent dividend will start to go back up the other way to six point one, six point two. I think when interest rates were super high back in like the 70s, um, dividend rates for the mutual companies were up close to 10, um, but and now they're it's down to six. So it it doesn't it's not a volatile index. It changes once every year and that's it. And usually only but maybe by you know 0.1 or 0.2. It's it's not a very um, volatile moving target as mutual companies have a long steady. Um, strategy when it comes to the general account. They're not incredibly risk, you know, they, they don't tolerate too much risk. But we can get into that on another call too also. But thank you for that question. The next one Thanks. is. Does an employee that? need to be on board for any defined amount of time in order to be eligible for this? So, um, yeah. and then the second piece of that, we'll probably refer to the benefit specialist for that if the employee converts at some point to a different uh, employment category, we can handle that part, but yeah. you want so, to answer yeah. this first? Go ahead. Yeah, so um, as long as they're benefit eligible for your company through Prestige, they're, they're eligible for this benefit. So if you have someone who works, um, let's just say really part-time, maybe between five and 10 hours a week, um, and they're not eligible for medical, dental, vision, then they wouldn't be eligible for, for this. But if they're benefit eligible for any of the other uh, you know, benefits through prestige, then this is one that they would be eligible for. Um, Part-time 1099, um, I, I guess that would be case by case, but, you know, there needs to be enough uh, dollars in the weekly or bi-weekly paycheck to, to support their contribution to their, um, to their premium. So if someone does not have a steady paycheck, um, then you would you wouldn't be able to pull the the weekly or or biweekly um, deduction from that. It might be difficult for that employee, um, but we could always figure out something else if 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 that was the case. Um, you know, they're all case by case basis. Um, we would try very hard to get that person in, but if it didn't work, we would figure something out. Okay, thanks. And the next one. So and I, and I'll have the specialist reach out to that. Uh, yeah. for that particular question, because that's very specific. So, um, so, so they mentioned, you mentioned chronic care was approved by New York. Yeah. Um, this person so, wants to know, does it apply everywhere? Yeah, so Mass Mutual introduced this chronic care endorsement on all its whole life policies through WorkSite um, a, a, a few years ago, only maybe, maybe two or three. Um, for whatever reason, um, Albany is a little bit slower in approving things because it goes state by state. So uh, let's just say whatever, what other states, they approved it right away. And it finally, I wouldn't say finally, but it did get approved by New York um, maybe last month. So we're now it's part of the New York offering. It wasn't prior to, uh, but now it is. But the good news is, um, you know, Mass Mutual and Prestige have been partners now for a few years, and we've had a couple of enrollments. And so anybody who actually owns a um, Mass Mutual whole life policy from um, last enrollment or or two years ago, 
this chronic care endorsement is going to be automatically added to those old policies, um, obviously at no extra cost. So it, we were just waiting for New York to approve it and it's been approved. So now it's, it's added on all our policies. That's just uh, a New York state insurance regulation hang up, uh, but it does apply everywhere. So, you know, if you have a New York state policy and then you decided to retire down in um, South Carolina, and it wouldn't matter what South Carolina's rules are because your New York state issued whole life policy has the chronic care endorsement on it. So it, it does apply everywhere. I think that was maybe was part of your question also. So yeah, if you left New York, it's still on there because that's the guarantee. Um, working for a mutual company is great because I get to say stuff like that's a guarantee. Guaranteed it's going to be there for you for the rest of your life. Guaranteed level premiums. Guaranteed cash value growth. Um, so thank you for that. Good question. Good. Okay, 25K limit on, yep, one, we're going to do one more and then we're going to send you these questions because I think there's a couple of questions that are very similar from uh, one employee who's very interested in the, in the um, cash value piece of this. Yeah. Great. And the tax implications. So I think I'm going to send that to you on the side so you can talk to them. But one more question was 25K limit on coverage for all dependents. Is that correct? So I yeah, have yeah. to purchase 25 yeah. for myself. Yeah. So in order to get the, in order to buy a policy for your spouse or your children and grandchildren, even if I failed to say that, um, the limit is 25,000 per each individual. So you, if you have, a spouse and six children, you could get one for your spouse and one for each child. So that would be seven policies. But in order to do that, you have to buy at least 25 for yourself. You can't only sign up your kids. You have to, be, it's an employee benefit. So as the employee, you have to buy at least 25 in order to get the 25 for all of your, for your spouse and all your kids and grandkids. Great. All right. Thank you so much, John. We're going to shift yeah. gears for a, uh... For a little um, just change of pace and some of the some of the benefits that are offered through prestige that are I'm going to say point blank not quite as important as this coverage so <laughs> life insurance whole life policy is much more important we're going to just shift gears and talk a little bit about some of the discount programs that you can get uh, through prestige that employees don't always see when they're going through their open enrollment portal uh, and things like that but thank you so much John and no, I'm I appreciate gonna, it. I'm going to, yeah, yeah. I want to clarify for the audience. This is Kathleen Sullivan. I'm one of the uh, directors in the benefits department. But like a famous commercial once said, I'm not only the hair club president, but I'm also a client. I have this whole life policy for myself and my two sons. I took it out um, when, when Mass Mutual first partnered with Prestige. Very happy with the policy. I think it was a, a great investment, especially for my 20 something year old sons uh, and they'll have those policies forever at a very very cheap rate <laughs> and i just think it's a, i just think it's a great option i really do uh it's it's i love that we have a product like this through prestige because i think it's unique and it's great so thank you so much john awesome thank you okay okay all right so we're going to move into we're going to move into a little bit lighter subjects, and these are prestige PEO perks and discounts that I'm going to talk about. So these are policies that you can sign up for, and then just some discounts that you get automatically for being with prestige. Um, these are things you may have heard about when you first enrolled or when your group first came on, uh, but things that people forget about, or maybe they came on later and they were things sent out, but you might have missed them. So we wanted to just kind of draw attention to a few things and make sure everybody's taking advantage of everything that might help them um, that's offered through Prestige. All right, so the first one I'm going to go over is LifeLock. So this has come up quite a bit. Uh, LifeLock and identity theft protection plus Norton uh, for protection of your devices. We've seen the necessity for this. So we've had employees who went to file their taxes and somebody else already filed with their social security number. I myself got caught in the Target uh, breach at some point where I went shopping at Target with my debit card and the next place I shopped, my debit card was turned off. 
Um, I didn't know because I wasn't paying attention to my mail from the bank, but um, then I did. You know, then they let us know, so I had to get a new card. Um, this is it's great identity protection and protecting your credit cards. So these are the core protections that they do. So they do identity alert systems. Somebody tries to take out a credit card in your name. Uh, they'll make sure they're reaching out to you on it, whatever device you want, text, phone, email, mobile app, you can do that. They monitor your credit and applications for credit. So that's, that's a big help. Uh, this one sounds a little more ominous, but dark web monitoring is also part of their protection. And this last one listed, US-based identity restoration specialists. So there are cases where you've already had a breach and you may want to jump into LifeLock and they are going to help you, uh, even if this happens before you signed up for coverage. And I think that's a great benefit with them. And it's, it's not easy. Uh, most people in general aren't going to know how to restore their identity or uh, block those things in the future. So great thing. Okay. So now this is the Norton piece of it. Norton LifeLock. Now we offer two levels of the LifeLock plans. Um, you can see the prices right there, $549 for the first level and $999 for the second level. The family levels, the costs are right underneath. Both plans have the identity alert system, have the ident ID theft remediation, the privacy monitoring, the dark web that we talked about, ID verification. Both plans have a million protect million dollar protection package, and I think that's big. People need to know that. That's a that's a really great benefit. They have financial account activity alerts, lost wallet protection, password manager, device security, family parental controls, and safe cam. So the differences in the plans, if we if we take a look at those two categories, the one B is one bureau. So one bureau credit monitoring on the first plan, one bureau credit application alerts, and then the device protections. So if you're signing up as an employee, they'll cover you for three devices. And if you're a family, they'll cover you for six devices. And then the 10 gigabytes online backup, that applies, what they're talking about right there is cloud backup. So you have 10, and then the other plan has 50. So there's a few other things that we see on the other plan. The three, again, that's credit bureau monitoring and three credit bureau reports and scores. So that's an upgrade plus monthly credit score tracking on the second plan. They're gonna cover you for five devices if you sign up as an employee only or 10 if you sign up as a family. I already mentioned the 50 gigabytes for the cloud backup and then home title monitoring. So this has come up quite a bit with people forging uh, home documents. Um, I would personally feel better with that home title monitoring. New checking and savings application alerts and bank account takeover alerts. So these are all the things that are covered under this LifeLock policy. The prices that you get through Prestige are better than what you're gonna get if you tried to sign up for LifeLock on your own. So this is a, we call this a discount benefit. It's a great plan and policy, uh, but you definitely get a better price on it coming through Prestige. If you already have LifeLock, uh, you can cancel your existing policy and enroll with us. This plan is any time enrollment for us. So that means any time of year you decide I want LifeLock, you can go into your employee portal at Prestige, the same portal that you see your paychecks and things like that. And there is a, a little, what we call a widget that says anytime enrollment, and that's what you would do in order to sign up for LifeLock. You cannot have a policy with them and a policy with us. So if you already have one, you do have to terminate that policy and then enroll with us and try and time that so you have no gaps there. But I really think this is a great benefit and we wanted to bring everybody's attention to it. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is farmers home and auto insurance. So this is, hasn't been taken advantage of that much for, um, for prestige employees, 
but we do have this connection with farmers and they offer auto insurance and home insurance. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Everybody kind of knows what auto insurance is, uh, but they do have some things, car rental, roadside assistance, um, things like that. And then the home insurance, I don't know about you, but I've heard more about fires lately than I had in the past. And I hear the alarms going off for the fire department near my house anyway, um, much more often. So I think the home insurance is a great option, uh, home and contents. Make sure that you can replace everything that you need to. Um, not big numbers for home insurance. There's, it's, uh, it can be fairly inexpensive. So it's worth reaching out to, to farmers to see if you can get a quote and see if they'll do better. They say they will. They say they, you can save an average of $562 if you switch to them from what you currently have. And that's just a partnership that Prestige has. So you'd call them directly for signing up for that. Next benefit. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Melissa, my partner here, is pointing to that very cute puppy in the picture who happens to be my puppy. <laughs> that is Nala. <laughs> and uh, thanks, Melissa. So um, this pet protection. So the way I said with John that I am not just a, a the president, but a client. I am also a client of pet protection. When she was about that age in the picture, as soon as I got her, we signed up for nationwide pet insurance. Uh, the prices through Prestige are very good. The coverage is excellent with nationwide. Uh, it's easy to use. They're going to cover you. There's a $250 deductible a year, and then they cover up to $7,500. Uh, of costs, and that's for illnesses and accidents. Uh, cancer, dental disease, all kinds of things, things that you need for the pet. Um, they also have the vet helpline and the pet RX Express, which is for any of the prescriptions that you might need. It's just big peace of mind. These little ones, like her, are, are so precious to us. But they also cover, you know, obviously other pets, even exotic pets. They cover amphibians, birds, uh, mice, rabbits, snakes turtles, whatever you have, <laughs> geckos, ferrets. <laughs> um, it's a great product. You know, we cover ourselves. We make sure we have the medical, but the, the pet costs can be huge if they need surgery, if they eat something they're not supposed to, you know, things like that. So, again, um, light. Now, if you're interested in the nationwide pet insurance, um, you would call them directly. Uh, identify yourself as a prestige employee and they'll go over and you can sign up for coverage with them. Okay. okay, and then even lighter, just to the last of the things that we're going to go over, um, we have a couple of programs, um, discount programs, and also we have some programs with AFLAC. So we partner with AFLAC for short-term disability plans, accident insurance, cancer insurance, and hospital insurance. Of those four, the short-term disability income is the most popular of the plans offered. Um, a lot of times employees reach out to us, they're looking for a voluntary or an employee paid short-term disability policy. This is a good option. They have plans that even run with a benefit up to two years, uh, which is very unique for short-term disability. And this is to protect your income. So if something happens and you can't work, Having a plan like this in place is a, is a great option. So, okay. And then the next two things, working advantage and plum benefits, these are just straight up corporate discounts that you and your family, whether you have any other benefit with us or not, just because you work for Prestige or you partner uh, with a company that works with Prestige, you have access to these benefits. So plum benefits has, um, tickets to shows, to games, to amusement parks, um, restaurants, working advantage too, all kinds of discounts in there. I know if you sign up, you can use these, th these um, account numbers and these codes, and they'll send you emails on a regular basis to give you the um, things they have, like for the shows in the city, buy one, get one free. They show that all the time, and they bring you things like that. I did use the Plum Benefits for tickets to um, 
the amusement park in, why can't I think of it, Universal Studios <laughs> in Florida. It was a little while ago, so um, that's why I couldn't think of it right away. But those prices are really expensive. So I did get a 15% discount on those tickets for Universal Studios. The only thing is you just have to plan a tiny bit ahead and make sure that you order the tickets through Plum Benefits before you're actually in Florida at the gate of the uh, at Universal Studios. <laughs> Um, but these are great options uh, that maybe not everybody is taking advantage of. So we wanted to kind of bring everybody's attention to that today. So that's it for the program today. Um, we already went over the questions on the life insurance, but we'll follow up with them. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I just want to thank everybody and thank John one more time for this really valuable presentation that he gave on whole life insurance that not everybody really understands or knows. And I'm going to hand it back to Melissa now. Thanks again. Awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, again, to John and Kathleen for your participation today. Um, for those who are looking for this information after the fact, again, please keep your eye out on the prestigepeo.com forward slash webinars site. That is where this will be posted, along with John's contact information for those who need it. Um, and then for any of the other be uh, benefits that were discussed, please contact your benefit specialist for more information on any of these items. As always, uh, we love your feedback on this information. That way we can continue putting out the most relevant webinars for you and your employees. Please check out our Insights newsletter. Um, so check your inboxes for that, as well as visiting our socials on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter, our podcast, as well as downloading the Prestige Go mobile app just to make sure that you stay connected with us and everything going on in the business. So again, thank you so much, and we will see you next time.